Hello and welcome to another stream by yours truly, Christopher. What's going on, guys? Hello, hi, hello, hello, hi there. I gotta make it. I gotta make a tweet. I'm gonna say this is my going live tweet. Consider yourselves informed. Paste the link. Nailed it. Oh, that's good. That's good. How's it going, guys? Hi, Nahal. Hello, hello. Hey, George. Hey, Scott. Hey, Captain. Hey, Connor. Hey, Deadfoot. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Nalum. Hey, Amber. Hey, CJ. Hey, Milbrook. Hey, Sean. Hey, Connor. Hey, Sofi. Hey, Angela. Whoa. I'm, I am 30 seconds late because I was pounding some food because uh, I had a an Invisalign appointment this morning at 10. And uh, I got stuck in traffic, even though I left like 30 minutes before my appointment time. I don't know if it's just like COVID restrictions releasing, but there is so much traffic right now. It's insane. So then anyway, so then I'm like, oh, I got time. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to stop at Starbies and get one of these pups. Check that out. Oh, it's a cold brew. I haven't had one for a while. Pretty pumped about it. And I got a uh, Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich. Amazing. But I had to... I literally ate it about 32 seconds right before I hit start streaming. <laughs> Morticia, hi. How's it going? Hey, Corbel. Nice to see you. Hey, Echo. What's up, Red Dragon? How much traffic is there? All, all of it. It's all of the traffic. I stopped at Starbs. Yeah, I did. Starbies like Arby's? No, it's like Starbucks, but like, you know, a, a basic. What's up, Rebel? I'm making you hungry? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Oh, yeah, you know. I know. I know how it feels. Hey, Artist Store, how's it going? So, uh, I installed a couple of mods. That's right. Subnautica mods. Uh, let me tell you what they're called. They are called, uh, Easy Craft and Snap Builder. So, Snap Builder is giving me everything I've always wanted in Subnautica, which is, uh, snapping when you're placing stuff. And it's beautiful. I went in and, and tested it. Uh, I haven't tested Easy Craft. But essentially what Easy Craft does is when we're in our base um, and we're crafting something, but the materials are like in, you know, one of our 2,000 random lockers. It's just going to craft it. It's just going to take the stuff from the lockers automatically. It's a nice, like, quality of life thing, especially if we're just focused on building for a bit. Um, the other thing that it does is let's say that I'm building... Uh, Something that has sub-components where I need to build, like, a wiring kit. Let's say you need an advanced wiring kit, which I think is a wiring kit plus a uh, computer chip. If you have those uh, materials in your random uh, lockers, it'll craft those sub-components, too. So, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty nice, and it doesn't, it doesn't change the game in any meaningful way, in my opinion. I guess you could argue, okay, you could argue, you could argue, you could argue that if we're playing survival, every trip back and forth to those lockers, you could die. <laughs> you could die on those trips. Super possible. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that it's not. You could die there. But like, probably not. I can't believe 18 hours in here. I feel like I haven't done anything. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, Gunner, what's up, man? Now you're going to have to install these mods and build some more. Uh, did you like the the thumbnail, guys? That's Gunner's base from Discord. I just uh, stole it. I stole it from him shamelessly. <clears throat> 
you got used to that crafting style, but then I didn't do that for my new run and it was hard getting used to. Yeah, like I, tr I'm all, I'm, I'm a vanilla fan. You know, I like playing games vanilla style. Um, but I've played enough Subnautica where I'm like, okay, I, I could snap now. So as an example, if we check this out, uh, you can toggle snapping with middle mouse. So this is free. And now if I just click it, you got like all these snapping locations and then you can hold alt or control and you can do like fine snapping see that's all snapping to like this that little micro grid that you see there and then you let go and it's on the big grid and then middle click and it's totally free it's the best so like basically what i'm saying is the whole base is coming down <laughs> the whole base is coming down and we're gonna rebuild everything not quite just kidding uh things are going Things are pretty good. Uh, the one the one thing I wanted to look into that I just remembered is I wanted to see if we could do a uh, custom... Custom sounds on the jukebox, which I moved way over here. If I, I'm sure that there's just like some files that this is pulling from that I could either rename and replace or whatever. I think that would be kind of cool. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to pull down the whole face. Don't worry about it. I really hope these songs are like just created for this game because otherwise they're all going to be... I'm going to get slammed with content ID. Steven, thanks for the super chat. Sorry I'm late. Here's a late fee. Don't worry, man. I was late. I was late, too. Like, 30 seconds. So. All right. I mean, yeah, this is this is cool. Okay. Uh, What do we want to do here? Okay, I feel like that music is just blasting. Can we tone this down significantly? Like, 1%. There we go. It's like you can kind of hear it. It's okay. How are you guys doing, by the way? Too much content ID lately? You know what? Um, <laughs> I haven't been... It hasn't been too bad for me. Uh, unfortunately, so my first part of uh, Mass Effect, when we played that little royalty-free song at the end while I was unboxing the helmet, I got dinged for that. And I got dinged in the way that... Uh, it was it was uneligible, ineligible to be monetized at all. Um, so it wasn't even like a situation where it kind of goes into this escrow process, and then after you dispute it, whoever you know, whoever did the claim or me would then get the ad revenue generated from that. So there's like a hundred thousand views on that video. I'm just saying, it it's you know. I'm not trying to be greedy, but I missed out on 100,000 views, which is like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge deal, but it's a big deal. Anyway. YouTube is too sensitive. It's, I mean, I, look, it's all automated. They're doing the best they can. Um, I got a content ID match on Biomutant Part 1 during uh, that first time where you meet the, the little dark side and light side little uh flyer dudes there and uh i was like i don't want to spend all this time disputing it and then if it gets if it doesn't work then whatever so then i had to re-render the file with a quieter version during that part which of course then people ask questions it's a whole thing you guys being it being a youtube uh creator is very stressful okay it's very stressful very, look at look how stressful this is. My God. Okay. Uh, chat. Let me let me defer to you here. All right. Do you want me to continue finishing this bedroom? We do one one room at a time. Or do you, would or would you rather see some outside uh, base building to get us started? Ultimately, I'll drive us where we need to be. But what would you guys like to see? Finish the room or go outside? Bop, 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 bop. 
Conflict nerd just quit. Uh, what it, what was that? Conflict nerd. I saw that you retweeted this or something, but it was right before the stream, so I didn't have a chance to check it. I don't even know who that is. Oh, outside, inside, flip the coin, finish the room. What do I want to do? I want to finish the room. <laughs> so I'm going to finish. Okay, I'll do, I'll, I'll do this, guys. Here's what we're going to do. I always ask these questions under the guise of like, you guys will have ultimate control, but it's all, it's all, it's all a ruse. It's all a ruse. Okay, I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna finish the room. Um, now I was looking at some mods that would allow me to like clip through objects and stuff, but they were all kind of messy, and I ended up not really liking those options. So what I'm gonna do is uh not clip through here and let me get some can we get any windows i actually don't think i can do any windows in these sections um hold on oh i wonder if i have to build this from the outside i wonder if i gotta build that from the outside that's that's possible all right let me let me get some of this room going there's a couple of uh ideas that I would like to have here. I definitely want to have an aquarium. I think this side looks pretty nice. Oh, and look at the snapping. Oh, it's like, it's just perfection. And then I could do like micro snaps. Oh, it's so good. All right. So this is going to be our aquarium. I'm probably going to stick to like, you know, some of the more rare, uh, sea specimens if I can if I look into my log here uh, research communication indigenous life forms fauna I mean we these guys are gonna be a little tough to catch I don't think I can catch a crash fish I don't think I can um we're probably more with in like oh well, I can't even catch those I gotta get these small herbivores so like maybe I just do peepers Maybe that's what we do. Uh, any peeper we find, we catch, and that becomes part of our aquarium. I'll check the truck really quick to see what we got going on, because I know we're holding some fish in there. Where's my truck? That's a niche. There it is. Yo, Anne! <laughs> Once again, Anne, with the super chats. Like, you're insanely generous you're insane thank you so much i appreciate that i appreciate your videos you be you <laughs> thank you is that in relation to the tweet that i made the other day oh look i do have a peeper here oh i got a bunch of peepers this is great yesterday i think it was i was like you can't please everybody just do your own thing yeah i mean it's true i said that after reading some some YouTube comments that I sometimes I feel real sassy. So my new thing is I go and somebody's being a, a wanker. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'll uh, I'll reply to their comment so they know that I saw it, and then I'll hide them so they they're just gone. They're gone, but they they got my reply. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's enough. That's all they really need. Boom. Now. Man, it would be really cool. It would be really cool if I could paint the walls different colors and stuff. But, like, I understand you can't get everything you want, you know? Oh, you know what? Maybe. Hold on. Let me try this. Let me try something here. Any plan to hunt leviathans? I mean, I would like to see one. Definitely... I'm sure we will, like, if we just keep following the story and have to get different things and whatever. We'll get there, for sure. Uh, but that's just not the plan for today. Uh, okay, so this has to go, like, here. Can it go any closer? I can get it there. I want to see if I can fit a uh, an aquarium beside this, where this is kind of like, you know, your aquarium supplies. You got your chemical balancers, your pH measurements, all that kind of stuff. 
I mean, kind of? There we go. Right? So now it's like if you have any, if you have to like balance your pH levels or put chlorine or whatever, you wouldn't because this is probably salt water. But you know what I'm saying. Without human contact, you know what I'm saying. It is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Uh, yeah, it'll be empty for now, but this is the look. I'll see if I can actually move this up to be in line with the uh, aquarium. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Uh, yeah, this is cool. This reminds me, I saw some videos of, like, some new uh, Sims update with, like, all this crazy furniture and stuff. Like, is it just me or is the Sims doing, like, just insanely cool stuff? Like, I haven't played the Sims since it was just goofy, but it looks amazing what you, what people are creating in the Sims now. <laughs> It'd be cool to put the green wall behind the aquarium. Yeah, so this wall, for whatever reason, only goes here. It wouldn't go onto any other wall, but I agree that that would be kind of nice. Let's see how it looks. Let's let's just see how an aquarium looks in front of this. It probably looks awesome. I mean... It looks pretty good. It looks pretty, 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 pretty good. If I do this, um, this is obviously like the, the feature of our entire uh, bedroom here. Okay. Plus one. Plus one for you guys. I saw somebody put something in here. Um, oh, Dane. Thanks for the super chat, man. To make jukebox music, any music you like, put it in this directory. Uh, your name, music, unknown world, Subnautica. Oh. Okay. So that's easy. That's easy. Okay. So I'll have to like... I'm going to find some like video game tracks to put in there. And uh, we'll just we'll just jam out to that for a while. Now, do I go totally unorthodox and put like do I do like a corner bed? That's actually this might be an amazing idea. This might be an amazing idea. Nobody's placing a bed like that without that auto snap on. Let me tell you. And then I bet I could even do this little shelf over here. I don't know if I've ever been more excited. <laughs> Love it. We'll put her uh, necklace. Oh God! How many times am I gonna do this? I can't work on the bed too much because I'm just gonna I'm gonna accidentally go to sleep. Turn this room into an office and build a different room for the bedroom. No, no. This is this is the bedroom. This is this is the bedroom. Gotta be here. Uh, okay, well, doesn't, oh, there we go, there we go, yes, yes, okay, now, I have other plans, I have other plans, we're gonna go chic plant pots, I can fit it in this corner, oh my god, everything's working a little too well, everything's working a little too well, what should I grow in here? Maybe I could grow some of these little, uh, these little, uh, dingleberry things. Preston's Delight. Do I have to chop this one to get it in there? I, I can never remember. I can't keep track of all this. Nope, we're good. Okay, let me see if I can fill that. Preston's Delights. It's so tricky. That's all I can get out of it, man. 
This this indoor grow bed is a kind of a nightmare. Maybe a plant behind the bed. That, oh, that's a good idea. That's a that's a really nice idea, actually. Yeah, because it is kind of some dead space there. Hey, I wonder though, is there anything else that would be cool back here? Like, uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that. It almost looks like it's supposed to go in the corner, but it's not. It doesn't want me to do it. it doesn't want me to do it. But I think a plant is a good call. I, I do like that idea. I do like that plan. Let me just see if there's anything unorthodox we could put back here. That might be somewhat interesting. I don't think so. Oh, we could do... Okay. Okay. Hold on. Something's coming to me. I mean... That's pretty good. It's almost a little too, um... It's almost a little too, like, symmetrical, though. So I think I might just leave one like that. And maybe I could go higher, even. Or, 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 I do, like, a plant. I do, like, a plant wall pattern. Oh, see? That really ties the whole room together. Because now you got this, this backdrop here, tying it into the bed. You got the plant. Oh. Chef's kiss right now. <laughs> this is chef's kiss. Fallen Knight and wrong key. Thanks for the memberships. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Okay. So this room, this side of the room's looking very nice. Yeah, I think I could probably turn the music up to maybe like 2%. Maybe, maybe three if we're lucky. do that is it possible to put out the lights okay so there's a mod for like base lights i don't know exactly how it works um but apparently you can i i think it's i think it might just be an on off thing i don't know if you could do it room specific or individual lights because that would be cool that would be very nice actually all right where am i going to put this picture frame of anish Uh, should probably go over here, hey? <laughs> that's my favorite. Oh, that's the best. Well, I'll maybe work on taking some cooler photos. Oh, the control room lets you do that? Okay, okay. We'll build that. That'll be our first thing we build after this room. I'm really enjoying this vibe so far, this corner. Now over here, maybe we do like a little office, like a mini office kind of setup. Um, oh, we could do something like this. I'm always a fan of having desks like not be in the corner or against a wall. Uh, I'm okay with that little bit of weirdness down there. Do we go gaming chair, office chair, or command chair? Kind of like this. Oh, please give me something to put on this desk. Like, I need like a computer or uh I need I need a computer looking device to put up here, but I don't think that's gonna fly. I don't think there's anything that I could place on this desk. Oh, 
can you actually sit in the chair? Uh, uh, not enough. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Look at our bedroom. That's so cool. Oh, the grab ball toy? Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Next time, scan for random things. I, I want to say we have pretty much all the stuff that we could scan for interior. I we're probably missing a couple things, but I don't think we're missing a lot. Here's our executive the toy. The anti-gravity pendulum of this executive meditation tool spins indefinitely by conserving momentum and recycling energy. I mean, that's obvious. How do I, uh... Oh. Oh. Yes. That's awesome. I just wish... Oh! Okay, that worked. Oh, it's like kind of, it's like, it's like, that's, that will not do. What if I just, I'm just going to leave it like that. Oh, but it's kind of, it's like weirdly glitched. It's like incomplete, but if I leave it like this, it doesn't glitch out. It kind of looks like, I don't know, kind of it should be there. I'm going to I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't think there's anything else I can really put here. I think I'm just this going to have to just be how it is and I'm going to actually take this art. I'm going to put that in here. Perfectly centered here because now we can do that. Is that perfectly centered? I actually think it's kind of not perfectly centered, so I'm going to go free roam here. Oh, that's good. And this one's glitched out, unfortunately. This whole partition, I think, might be glitched. door must be deconstructed first, which I can't even deconstruct. So, like, we 100% are glitched here. <laughs> Holy crap, Unka. Thank you for the major super chat. This is for all the great moments and memories for the past five years. You're one of the best entertainers, occasional therapist, and nerd. Cheers, my friend. Bro, that's so generous. Thank you so much, man. Very, 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 very generous. Thanks, buddy. What's up, Austin? How's it going? Thanks for stopping by, man. It's it's weird that we've glitched this. Oh well, I'm fine with it. This actually looks dare I say Seek fluid intake immediately. Complete. I actually think this looks complete. I'm going to leave it. Uh, this doesn't... I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of this. I think this is good for our bedroom. You know? It's got some personality. The plants are already growing. Do these things... Hold on. Oh, I think I planted them. Yeah, never mind. I'm happy with this. This is a, this is a good start. If I can figure out how to deconstruct this door... Uh, then I'll do it and try to fix the wall. But I think it's just, that's just how it is. I think it's just going to be like that. All right. Let's move on. 
Can you imagine just slamming back these greasy, slimy, fevered peppers? Like... Vital signs stabilizing. So nasty. Placing incomplete objects glitches the entire base. Deconstructing the glass dome might allow you to fix the wall. You know what's interesting is uh, it's not even letting me deconstruct anything. It's not letting me deconstruct the ceiling. Or like the supports. Maybe from the outside. But I feel like if I deconstruct this, then it just floods, right? So that's probably a thing it doesn't want us to do. Anyways, not that important. Try deconstructing the sign above the door. Okay, that works. But not the actual door. It's okay. I'm not married to the idea of, of changing anything. I just wish I could move this. Uh... Yeah, see, something's weird. Now, I don't know if this is mod-related or not. It's very possible. Because we built this wall before this mod was in. So it's super possible that we've done something weird here. I can live with it. Not mod related. Has to be mod related. We'll never know. Okay. So, uh, let's go outside. I want to build a control room and see how that works. I want to build an observatory, but I mean, truthfully, an observatory would be much cooler if we were much deeper, right? Um, anyways. Let's see where we're going to place some extra stuff. Oh, there's also a mod that would, like, auto-terraform stuff if you wanted to build over it. Um, jeez. There's a, uh, there's a mod that, like, lets you kind of set modules inside of the, um, terrain. Like, kind of nudge it in there, which is kind of neat, too. But, yeah, we'll have to see here. Now, I could I could maybe put up a control room somewhere over here. I don't know if it it probably needs its own supports. Uh, let's see with the control room. Okay, this looks like it can kind of hover. Which is not too bad. So if I wanted to, the base is really coming together. Those that glass roof is so cool. So there's our base entrance, or we go in through the moon pool. Let's do a little glass apartment here. I think I'm going to replace all the tubes with glass, by the way. Will it let me do this? Probably not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will. Okay, so let's do glass. So much nicer. Oh, yeah. I think this might be its own included thing. Uh, auto connecting this. And I can't dismantle that at the moment. So that's fine. That one can stay. Let's see. We can either we can either do an observatory here. 
let's try the control room. Oh, this mod for just like pulling stuff from the In the control room, you can change base lighting and colors, rename your base, and see information about power and structural integrity. But not the integrity of societal power structures. Guys, simmer down. <laughs> no fun. <laughs> Justin with a hundred dollar super chat. Couldn't have said it better than the last donation. This is for all the people who can't donate. Thank you, Odd, for touching so many lives. Dude, you guys, honestly, thank you so much. That's, uh, that's insane. Oxygen. Thank you. And Addison, thanks for the super chat. You've kept me sane through the sleepless nights and busy during days of raising a baby. Thank you doesn't begin to say it. Neither does my donation. Ugh, you guys, honestly, I'm going to, like, tear up here. That's wild. Thank you, guys. That's wild. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, this is all new to me. So let me just play around. Oh, you can disable certain sections. Navigate minimap. Disable. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Hey Pies, uh, personal question. Do you think you and Ram will have kids? No. We're not into it at all. We're not into having kids. We're totally aligned in that regard, thankfully. Uh, we have nieces and nephews, and that's totally cool for us. We have dogs, which is awesome. Base color. Okay. Okay. Let me... Before we come up with a name... How's this gonna work? I just need to put some colors in here to see... Just ignore how ugly this will be for a second. And the name can be in... White. Sure. Um... <laughs> that was a quick no. <laughs> no, because people ask us all the time. Right? People ask all the time if you're gonna have if we're gonna have kids and we're like uh -uh, not interested. It's funny, like I mean, all of our friends are having babies, like left, right, and center. Boom, 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 new baby, new baby, new baby. And we're just like Like, if we wanna go traveling, we're gone. Remember when we could do traveling? That was kinda cool. What am I gonna call this place? Um Peeper Cavern? Seems as good as anything. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so what is it turning... What is it turning green? What am I missing? I wonder. I guess this is the one downside is... Uh, well, maybe I just can't build it from the side. Okay. So I'm missing uh, either quartz or titanium, and I'm going to guess it's quartz. It'd be cool if it told you that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Just a couple of these rooms automatically make this base so much freaking cooler. I'm all out of quartz. That will not do. I need to hunt. Need to go get it. This is not the way. Ooh, the Peeper Palace. <laughs> not bad. The Auditorium. Hey, Bazir. Welcome growing growing up in the Canadian prairies. It's cold and crops don't plant themselves. True. True. Uh, what did Idris say? Where is it? What's up, Sharp? Uh, I've missed what bike you have. I myself have the TL100R. Oh, you guys want a, you want a bike update? 
remember how I told you to put out positive vibes uh, on Wednesday? That's yesterday, by the way. That's the day of the week I find out if my bike is leaving the factory or not. We didn't put off. We didn't put out enough positive vibes. It turns out, and uh, the bike's been delayed till June. It's been delayed till June. So I don't know when in June. But it's been delayed till June. Just open June, and uh, <laughs> it's a bummer. I'm a hundred percent certain. Uh, hold on. I'm 100% certain that it is related to the semiconductor shortage that's happening. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, but it's still, it's still a, it's still a bummer because I really would not. Hey, where's my sea glide? Is it in the truck? It might be in the truck. It might be in the truck. Okay, let me empty all this stuff because now I don't need to be carrying it. And, like, I feel for production lines and stuff. Like, I do. Trust me, I, I get it. It's just a huge bummer the way that it worked out. Because now I'm, now I'm Sans Motorcycle. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to be Sans Motorcycle when you ride motorcycles. Trust me! It's the worst. Oh, it just auto swapped that. That's nice. Uh, Catherine, thanks for the super chat. This has been a tough month and you've given me something to look forward to in my days. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to talk about it, but whatever you're going through, hopefully, hopefully it just resolves itself because that's the worst. Like when, when you're in a funk, I get into funks all the time. I'm I'm easily funked up. Okay, where's my sea glide? You guys, I, I lost this thing. I freaking lost my sea glide. I'm sure it's in. It's probably just in one of the miscellaneous loggers. I get into funks all the time. And, uh, like, little things will set me off, and then it's like, ugh, I could be out of it for, like, a week, and it's a huge bummer. There it is. No, nope, that ain't even it. Oh, it's in that middle locker. That's right. The random, the random locker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. Thank you. And yeah, it can take a lot for me to get out of a funk like that. It's re it's really bad. The last like super funk that I was in was like uh, I want to say December. I was in a super funk, and it sucked big time. And it lasted like pretty much the whole month. So I totally empathize. I totally empathize. And if you want some unsolicited advice, which is an oxymoron sentence in and of itself, uh, you just gotta like, you just gotta take some time for yourself and you have to prioritize like your own deal. You know what I mean? Like sometimes easier said than done, but Go for, go for walks. Try to exercise until your brain can't think anymore. <laughs> Sometimes that's what I'll try to do if I'm like in a really bad funk. I'll go for a long, long walk until it's like... I'm just become serene by force. That makes sense. Funk is depression. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I've never had, like, an official diagnosis for depression, but, um, yeah. I just use funk to kind of lighten it a little bit. But, yeah, it's a depression, and a lot of people go through it. It sucks. It's, it's It really sucks, and if you've never experienced it, that's amazing. I'm super grateful, or I'm super happy for you, because 
It's it's like a battle. It's like a battle with yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a battle against your own inner workings. And it's very challenging to deal with. Very, very difficult. Because you want to tell yourself, well, oh, right, well, I mean, how about you just, how about you just don't be depressed? <laughs> Easy. Oh my God. What is this stuff? That's bizarre. We've not been here. Cool. Uh, yeah. Anyways, sort of like bomb everybody out there. It's a tough thing. So I totally empathize with what you're going through, Catherine. I really do. It sucks big time. And I hope it gets better. I'm going to scoop up. I'm going to I'm going to fill this inventory with ports here. Thanks for acknowledging the struggle. Feels good to hear that from someone we love. I mean, yeah, everyone's everyone's experiences it differently, so even though... Oh, here's that other... Another grav ball thing that we need. People use the, like, depression and... Uh, they use... They kind of throw that word around and that's... I think in a way it's good because it starts to normalize the discussion a little bit. But it's different for everyone. What one person says is depression might be another person's just like... You know, I'm kind of bummed, but I'll be okay, you know? Just depends. Keep our eye out for peepers, too, to fill our aquarium. Like this little guy. And this little guy. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Serene remaining. by force. Isn't that, like, a good way of thinking about it? Just came up with that. Maybe we should we should make t-shirts. That could be like a thing. That's the best way I can describe it though. You just have to force yourself into calm. It's like training. Okay, so like Walter, our dog, right? He's very high anxiety. He's um very reactive and it's like just amped and like ready to go. He's super friendly, but he's like he's not very confident, I think, and he's just got, you know, he's like all the time. And he gets stressed super easy. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we worked on with this trainer for the last month and a half is essentially, like, ways to calm him. And that's where the idea of, like, uh, serene by force kind of comes around. Because Walter, turns out, he does really well when he's got a lot of uh, rules and guidelines and things that he needs to follow. He gets like really into it. He's pumped. He's like into it. And then by doing that stuff and by having all these rules that he has to follow, he becomes a lot more chill because he doesn't have like he's getting out that anxious energy um, through the through the things that we're doing with him to try and be a little bit calmer. Hey, I'll take those. I think I missed the peeper. That's okay. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. <clears throat> Guys, thanks for all the memberships. Holy smokes. Yahoo's, Petula, Kaz. Thanks, man. Sean. Appreciate you guys. Am I saying Walter's a proper German? Seek shelter. Does Walt or does are Germans like known for being like that? I feel like Germans are generally very calm. Cool, calculated, you know. We named, we actually named Walter for, uh, for Walter White in Breaking Bad. And we named Dexter for Dexter Morgan from Dexter. Hey, I'm full. Okay, sweet. That should be enough glass to, like, last us for a little while. Our background, my background is German, like my family name. 
basically means German man. <laughs> so you could probably figure that out. But uh, we don't have a lot of like German roots, I would say. I can't even take this off. Like it's not, we're never very traditional or anything in that sense. Cool can. Thanks for the super chat. I'm a barista at Starbucks. Been watching since the first Nautica. Thanks for such good content. Good vibes. Have a cold brew on you. Oh, oh God. I got questions. So, okay. I have a cold brew. Welcome so thank you for Captain. that. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's not Deutschmann, but you're close. Okay. Uh... Okay, cool can. Are you ready to answer some questions? I got questions. Kiesel, can you stop spamming the chat, bro? Like, like thanks. <laughs> Didn't realize odd translated to German man. <laughs> uh, well, you got to brush up on your German then. Okay. Let me turn this off. Uh, okay, cool can. If you're in the chat, I got a question. These new brown sugar oat shake and espressos, okay? Um, Ram loves them. Loves them. But the last, like, three times we've been to Starbucks, we asked for that, and they're like, oh, we're out of, we're out of the brown sugar. And I'm like, okay, this is, like, your, one of your newest drinks, most popular drinks. Everyone's ordering this thing. How is it possible you're running out of this stuff? Yeah, the bomb. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty... They're pretty good. They're pretty good. However, why are they always out of that? Is that a thing at your store or am I just like unlucky? Because that's possible. That's possible. Oh yeah, I was going to do a hatch over here. Uh, Actually, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Can I just do a, a window? Yeah. I kind of want to put windows, like, everywhere that I'm allowed to. I feel like that's not going to be a lot of places, now that I think about it. Oh, what? Where did that snap to? No. Oh, I probably broke something for sure. Oh, what the... Oh no! I've removed... I've removed a reinforcement. Yo. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> Frick. We, we got a leak. It's minor though. That means there's more. I've already fl I've flooded my new bedroom. No holes. Base looks good with a nice little layer of water on it. Our integrity restored. All right. Draining systems initiated. God. Okay, I need to see I need to see Cool Canth's replies. I work the night shift and everyone and their mom orders it. So, yeah, so do you ever run out or what? You think I'll like what I find if I explore the purple vents area more thoroughly, says Lion Tamer. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm into it. Okay, anyway, uh, I gotta get focused up here. So, let me go back to the observatory. I don't know what these green stripes are. I'm not seeing any of those. Um, I, think I will put a hatch here. Let me look for a green stripe. Yeah, I have no idea what that secondary color is. Oh, unless it's... Is it maybe these? 
Oh, it's these. I think it's these pipes. Or some of them, anyway. Weird. Weird. Hey, what's my what color is my underwater base gonna be? I kind of want to make it black. I kind of want to make it black and then illuminate it with outdoor lights. You know what I'm saying? Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. Drop like a fat beat under there, and you'd have like a pretty popular TikTok. See, like, okay, okay. Well, hold on a second here. Get me out of there. I got lines as red and green, and I'm not seeing. Oh, there's some red. Okay, okay, I understand now. I understand. Go white and we'll go black. Just keep it clean for a second. There's still these weird, like, yellow accents that I can't control, but it's pretty good. Uh, floodlights? I don't have a better lighting option, do I? I don't know if this can work. <laughs> oh, it's hideous. And is there a way to get rid of these lines? Like, I get it. But who wants to see those? I don't want to see the power line connections. Like, at all. There's probably a mod for that. Man, if I could delete some of this stuff, I would. Oh, that's not going to be the way I want it at all. I've been saying the same thing about IRL power lines for years now. Yeah, I mean, like a lot of new constructions, uh, like in new areas, use under underground power now, which is nice. Instead of having the above ground hideous lines everywhere. Maybe that place just isn't meant for light. I do have some nice, like, cliff sides here where maybe I can illuminate the base. It's just so... Who would have th thought it would be so awkward to place lights down here on, on uneven surfaces? And eliminate. Ugh, like, it's just gross. You guys have any suggestions for how to place these nicely? Maybe here, but then again, I, then I can't even see which way it is. So I'm just kind of guessing. Okay, okay, I can see it. Trust me, as frustrating as it is to watch this, it's even more frustrating being in control. 
Oh, and it's the opposite way. Classic. It's the opposite way again. I'm gonna lose it. I'm going to lose it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Is this is this the way? Hold on. Maybe that's the way, guys. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. You know what, guys? Uh, people don't give you don't give chat enough credit sometimes. You're a hundred percent right. You are a one hundred percent in the right on this one. Good job. Well played. Well played, well played. Okay, now. The only trick is figuring out which side is front and back. Got lucky. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I, now I need to, now I need to, now I got a whole thing. Now I got a whole thing I need to do. You forgot light sticks existed? Oh, I do have those somewhere. They might be something worth looking at. Now, can I like, I can't get these to kind of connect, eh? See, that's not bad. I could do kind of like a foundation thing around the base and then I could do um, we could do planters, we could do lights we could do all that stuff do they give off that much light? yeah actually they do this this light is kind of intersecting but if I move our peeper away see here? see that light that's over top of the uh top of the plants. It works. Unka, thanks for the other super chat. As a retired architect, I have to say, I really, really hope a ram made most of the design choices in your home. <laughs> Bro, this is challenging, okay? I think I did pretty good in the bedroom department. Outside work is a little bit more complex. But yeah, see? That gives off a decent amount of light. And if you have just a buttload of them... Well then. Well then. Okay. So I would like to kind of... I would like to get this further, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, I'm intersecting too hard. That's what I'll have to do for now. This one's going a little bit into the rock, I think. See, like, if I had that terraform mod, I could just build here and it would get rid of that. Which I think it would be really nice. I'll do a row of lights here and see how it feels. What's this supposed to be? Ah, yes, a window. Yes, yes, yes. What's this being blocked by? I don't 
don't want that being blocked by. Nothing's mounted there, I don't think. Oxygen. Got him. Just checked YouTube. Tainted Grail playthrough. Yeah, I mean, if people are into it, I'd be happy to play more. Um, I think it would be a really good stream game. Just considering how long it could be. Because it's a roguelite, right? And you gotta unlock a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, that game's come such a long way. Very, very cool. I'm interested to see how people, what people think of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who gave you permission to turn? It's really weird navigating in here. Yo, this is, like, this is legitimately challenging work, okay, you guys? No! I bet you I'm out of uh, ports again. Look at that, though. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Oxygen. That's so cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. You think that locker is in the way of... But that, that locker is freestanding, not placed on the wall. See? I'm not sure. Maybe. Hey, why isn't this light? Oh, yeah, because it's not, it's not fully built. This is the way I would like to have my entire surrounding of my base be. Just so that you can see it from Mars. Like, check this out. We go up high here. Okay, it doesn't actually... <sighs> what a disappointment. When do the lights kick in? I mean... It's still nice. It's still nice. I'm not going to get too nitpicky. I love that name on the side. That's so cool. I wish you could change the font. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yep. Welcome aboard. He's right. Oh. Yeah, so we're all out of quartz again because we're making like tons of glass. Um, why, what, what's with the weird flickering I'm seeing? It's like, this is my, my weird, like, what's with my power flickering? Is that a thing? Maybe, it's probably all those lights. Like, look how quickly my, my, uh, power is being sucked down now. Yeah, you guys were right. You guys were correct once again. 
That looks nice. Um, what I could do is maybe replace our reactor with the bioreactor. And by bioreactor, I mean... I mean nuclear. I mean nuclear reactor. Because I have all those rods. Oh my god. Auto crafting all this stuff? So nice. Clearly I'm missing something. So now how do I find out with this mod installed? I guess I'm missing lead. I guess I'm missing lead. Which does not surprise me. Yeah. Okay. Plus 2.28 minus 2.82. Two. Okay, so it's like... We're definitely minus too much. Need one more peeper to complete the set. Let's let that ping for a bit. I'll take this out for now. What other room would I want to build here? We have the control room. Uh, an observatory would be cool, obviously. Multi-purpose room. I could do more large rooms. Are there uh, are there other base pieces that I might be missing? You guys think? Oh, I need this for sure. Water filtration. Yes. Where does this go? Hold up. Aerogel. Gel sacks and rubies, which I have. And I know we have copper. <clears throat> yeah, we can stack rooms. Uh, we're going to build a bathroom for sure. We need to build alien containment. I know we have to do all of that stuff, but I need I need lead to do it. Um, what's up with the water filtration Swimming unit? Is, good for your glutes and endorphin levels. is this an is this an outside thing? Small contribution to the lead fund. Thank you, Polar Beard. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. What's up with the placement of this? It goes on the wall. Okay. Oh, I betcha because I have all these reinforcements here. This doesn't want to snap to like anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, do you think it's maybe that I need to have like at least some ingredients in my stash to start it with the uh, with this mod? Oh, okay. I think it was just that we don't have an available wall spot. I think that's probably the issue. Okay. Um, I don't really want to build it here anyways. I'll probably do this in like the kitchen area that we end up creating. Yeah, that'll work. This re this I'll probably remove and put in its own like separate kind of area slash zone thing. Okay, check this out. Where are we gonna where are we gonna go off of this? The lights are definitely cool. Um, might, might have to do this. What am I missing? What am I missing now? More, more quartz, right? I'm missing more quartz. Here, let me take down some of these lights. I'll take down a couple of these. I kind of wish you could do uh, upwards pipes that you'd have to, like, swim through or put a ladder in or something. Let me get rid of this thing. Okay, so foundations are also adding strength. That makes sense, even if they're not, like, connected to anything. I can get behind that. question is, if I build something, like, way up here, how do I even... How do I then access it? Like, if this just sat here, and I wanted to, like, somehow connect this, could I, I couldn't even do that, right? So... This has to have, like... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can make a vertical connector. But what is this, like... Vertical base connector. Hmm. Hold on. I'll work this out. Can't use vertical on glass. Needs to connect to one of the connecting pipes. So let's say instead of doing glass here, we do like so. Okay, that's technically connected. This is obviously not 
the solution that I want here, but... What? Oxygen. Oh, I bet you I know why. It's because those things are broken down. All right, those are stored as glass. Yeah. I can fix that. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's like, oh, I can only do one at a time. Seek fluid intake. So is this vertical connector strictly like a like for holding the base? This is not something I can go through, even though it's got a little window on it. Oh, I need to build a ladder. Ah. Okay. 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 This is all experimental. Until it isn't. Yeah, la I didn't even know ladders were like a thing. I guess it's... I guess this is it? Ah, yeah, okay. That's really weird. For one. But it does work. It does work. <laughs> this is some of the, uh... This is like the, uh... Uh, whatever you call that thing. You know, the thing? It's the thing. these things coming through the floors. Well. That's cool, actually. All attached components must be deconstructed first. Yo, dude, I'm just trying to construct out here. All, that's all I'm saying. Just trying to construct. Oh, I probably need to get rid of the ladder inside of it. I feel like... What the... What? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What is the solution to this problem? <laughs> I've now gotten ourselves stuck here. Here, 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 here. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Okay. The base is looking pretty, 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 pretty good. Seek fluid intake immediately. I definitely need, um, I definitely need, I need more, like, variation. So I think I'll probably build a large room higher up here like we were trying to do, but I, if I can get it Wow, can I actually? Is this going to plant legs all the way down? Well, how does that work? I 
I need to have the legs. I can go this high with legs. This is why you retired from science. You ran out of air. Jesus. Okay, now we're short on the glass again. I'm going to have to do like a, a quartz run here. Uh, but this could kind of be like... This could be um, like where we put the bioreactor. The bioreactor. The, the thermonuclear reactor. Uh, alien containment, uh, water filtration, kind of like our mechanical side of the base um, that we would then connect via those vertical tubes. But I need oxygen. I need titanium. Titanium, lithium, enameled glass. Yeah, like we're we're running low. I do have some in my inventory. Uh, what about lithium? I have some, and I have some glass, but I need enameled glass, which means I need more quartz, and I need lead once again. We're gonna go hunting. Vital signs stabilizing. These things are the absolute best thing to eat, I think. Water! I know, I know, I know. I know. Let me drop all this junk in here. Okay, let me go hit some rocks. What time is it? So we have like another hour. Let me uh, let me hit some of these rocks and then we're gonna go, we're gonna leave the base for a bit, come back at it with fresh eyes. And we're gonna go investigate maybe some of the, the alien signals. There's some lead. See if we can't get into some trouble that way. If I see quartz too, I'll try and grab that. Salad's OP. That's right. I haven't made any of that yet. But I should. I should try it. That one's bugged. Wow. I think we spotted some Galena outcrops. A few of them. You're in there. It's almost making me dizzy. There's so many. Yo, Pumpkinhead, thanks for the membership, dude. Appreciate that, man. And thanks for the people that are just subscribing as well. Oh my god. Where is this? I need a, I I wish I had a beacon. You guys want to try and remember this? Actually, we could maybe do like a little is it F1. Uh Isn't isn't there a way? Warning. 
to see like coordinates remaining. in here. I could be wrong. We're 270 meters, 329 meters from home. And that would be southeast. Oxygen. I don't have a beacon. No, I don't. I don't. Never leave home without it, they say. Uh, what are we at? Oh, I can't see it. When it comes up on the screen next time, I'll, I'll check. To see how close we are to our goal. I'm very excited. Maybe we can, might even be able to do Cringin, the Cringin, uh stream this weekend. That would be fun. I see people in Discord already sharing stuff. I don't want to look at all of them because I want them to kind of be like, you know, fresh reactions. Recycler the synthetic fibers for clippings to plant. Credit to Eric Goldsmith. Oh. Recycling synthetic fibers? Oh, right. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Um, that's possible. Hold on a sec. That will get us into some of the depth upgrades, right? I need nickel ore. Ky yeah, kyanite's another thing I need. Okay. I'm happy with where we're at right now. We'll find we'll find spiral clippings at some point. I feel like this system could be improved in some way. Like the size of these circles could maybe be you know, larger if they're closer. Remove the glass from your big room. You can stack the rooms and connect them by simply adding a ladder. Yeah, we could do that. I just don't want to. <laughs> That's a great idea. I just don't want to do it. I like, I like when the base has... Uh, I'm cool with, like, multi-levels. Um, but I like when it's got some more kind of uniqueness to it instead of just straight up stacking. No doubt I'll probably stack some stuff, but, um, having it like off to the side and then like you're going through tunnels and stuff, like it's fun, you know, it looks cool. How much light do we have here so far? Not bad. Let's do another minute or two of this and then we'll head up. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'll need a map. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have our control room that literally does have a map in there. Which is pretty cool. Forrest, thanks for the membership, man. Appreciate it. Just figured out how to do the membership. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's not super intuitive, eh?
Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh my god. What a bad time to run out of juice. Oxygen. Is it possible to stack the rooms with the above room rotated? You know, um, I want to say probably not. But I could be wrong. All right, let's head home. Yeah, like a crisscross stacking would be kind of cool. And eliminate. Yo, Jean-Pierre Levac, thanks for the super chat. You're definitely French, are you not? Ça va bien? Merci. Oh, c'est bon. C'est bien, c'est bon chien. It's a good dog. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Without human contact. Observation above the bedroom would be sick. Why? What do you want to observe in my bedroom? Hmm? That's weird. Uh, currently on episode 5, wanted to pop in and say hi. Are you at 500 members yet? No, I don't think we are. I don't know what we're at. I think we're close. I think we're close. But I don't think we're quite there yet. Um... It'll come on the screen every like 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, well, there it is. 470, 471. Guys, we're very close. Now I also say bon. <laughs> say bon chien. That's what happens to me when I'm walking, when I'm walking Walty. Trey bien, wee wee. Wee wee. Another favorite of mine. Wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. Okay, I need my bladders. I think that's probably fine. Um, I'm gonna switch this sucker back to quartz and let that run. Oh, actually, before I leave the base, because we are gonna leave the base here, uh, let me just set up a temporary bio or a uh, nuclear reactor. What am I missing? What am I missing? We have lead. Hold on. Plasteel ingots require lithium and titanium ingots. Bum, 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 bum. I think I might, like somebody said, I might have to have some of the ingredients on me to pull from the lockers. I wonder if I need to have like a full ingot. Uh, I, I think I have silver, right? Yeah, so we should be able to make that. Do I have gold? Yeah. I have coral. <clears throat> Am I short on lithium? Oh my god, I'm short on lithium? Of all things. Well, okay, I guess I'm not going to build that. So, that's fine. All right. I'll find more lithium. I'll find it. That is, you're correct. That's what I'm short on. Okay. So what are we thinking here? Where should we go? We're going to take a, a break from the base building a bit, just so we can like come at it with fresh eyes later on. Okay. Um, and 
I'm thinking we go for like some of the alien stuff. Just to see where that where that leads us. Let me get rid of this. Primary directive. Investigate and eliminate. Investigate and eliminate. <laughs> One day, you will be built. I promise you. You'll be built up there. In the Highlands. Yo, Anka, again? What? Chris, I want to thank your mods and for making mods. Especially the XCOM ones that kicked my ass. This is so you can buy them a cold brew or share a cold something one day. I love your new studio. A true artiste at heart. Anka, you're a insane, bro. Absolutely insane. Do I have the signal for the pilot? No, that's done. That was done a long time ago. That got us... Oh, let me change my batteries before we go too. And get some beacons. Jesus! Actually, I don't even need this here. Uh, no, that's what led us to her... Um, her storyline where we ended up going to the... What do you call it? Greenhouse? So... So yeah, I'm thinking aliens. Am I missing anything? I have a beacon. Is that enough? If it's not, you know what? Let me just build another one. Beacons are cheap. I'll even for chat, you know what? I'm even going to I'm even going to do t two beacons. You guys have been so cool today. So there you go. 474. So close. And you know what? I, I will. I'll make a salad. I'll make a salad. I can do that somewhere, right? Spicy fruit salad. This better be good, you guys. Fruit salad does not traditionally involve leaves, but at least it is nutritious and warming. Very true. Very true. Damn. Yeah, you guys, uh, very right on that. <laughs> Look at that. You sure know how to show chat a good time. Just wait. Let's just wait for the inaugural hot tub stream just you wait you have, chat doesn't even know what's coming god this room looks good show me a better subnautica bedroom now i don't know if these like do these just do these rot because I probably want to keep these in case we end up in snowy areas. Because I don't know where we're going. I guess we'll find out. Pretty sure salad goes bad. I mean, it doesn't have a durability thing. Or you mean like in you mean like in real life? Yeah, that's possible. Now. Hold on, where are we going? So, alien artifact, PK-8, architect body cache, NM-6. My peeper, our deeper peeper can go what? Uh, 650 down. I think that's more than the, the prawn suit, right? I'm heading down right now. Oh! Man, get it together. I'm considering. Maybe. 
I just want to be in the truck. I don't want to be on the controls, okay? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to double tank it. I've never double tanked before, but I am pumped about it. This mod is a game changer in like in the best, best way. Imagine how many times I'd have to go into my base for that. That's wild. Okay, I got an extra tank. Why does it say empty? Oh, because I have to fill it with, I got to fill it with air. Good thing I did that. Let's save. We've done so many things. Okay, aliens. I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. Don't hit anything. Yep, almost smooth. I wonder how deep this is because this takes into account like its distance as well it's going to be pretty close to wh what our depth is i think we might actually be able to get down there hey tau have a great sleep man whatever sleep you're planning on having have an even better one okay Communications systems array active. What the f What is what is going on with you guys today? <laughs> I'm like I'm like mad about it. Nalum, bro, what? Dude. 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 That's so wild. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it, Nalum. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. I'm like you guys are making me feel really nice today. Not like you don't normally, but you know what I'm saying. It's super generous. Dude! Right, gotta run later. Enjoy. <laughs> now, thanks, man. You guys are wild. You know how many, you know how many cold brews that is? It's a lot. A lot of cold brews today, so thank you. Hey, check this out. I think we're in new territory, guys. I gotta get focused up here. What is that? Tree spire. Hot gas pushed upwards through the planet's crust over thousands of years. Ecosystem that emerged in and around these vents is driven largely by the presence of chemosynthetic life forms, which ultimately attracted the vibrant and thermophilic coral scene lining spire branches. Jesus, Vicky. Thank you for the base building fund. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Vicky. Tornado plates are an underwater mushroom with an inner cage surrounded by a swirling chitin structure. The mushroom's wildly unusual morphology is not currently understood. I barely understand the words used. Garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. 
rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. Vent garden. Why can't this just be spiral plant clippings right here? This is a big scan. Vent garden's a stationary leviathan. Guys, we did it. We found a leviathan. We found a leviathan. It anchors itself above thermal vents and houses aquatic flora inside its bell-shaped interior. Anchoring tentacles. Six tentacles anchor the vent garden to the seafloor around vents. Each tentacle is capped by a set of thick curved hooks that grow downwards, keeping the vent garden firmly in place. Transparent bell. The hollow bell of the vent garden has a narrow opening large enough to accommodate human entry. The vent garden feeds on thermophilic bacteria and other microorganisms that spew from the vent below. The top of the bell also has an opening that continuously releases water to maintain a consist consistent internal pressure. Symbiotic relationship. The bell houses six branching platforms that resemble coral. These platforms contain aquatic flora that remains safe from foraging herbivorous fish. In turn, the flora absorb and synthesize some of the heavy metals and gases emitted by the vents below. So basically, I can go up in there. That's all we need is here. Suck me up. For some reason, I was expecting to be able to breathe in here. Oh, great. There's gotta be. Why would I want to be in here ever? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, hold on. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. oh. There's so little. That is not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting these to be huge. Like, and, you know. Oxygen. I'm not worried about my oxygen. Don't even worry about it. This is so cool. We finally have it. I wonder if I could, um... Plant these. guess probably not. Okay, well, I'm going to throw a beacon, like, right in the belly of the beast here. Spirals. Okay, I better go... What a cool zone. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Wow. And that's actually, it's been relatively close to our base, too. Okay. Now, booster tank. How come this one, why does this fill to 135? I feel like I should know this. Why does it fill to 135 even though it says it's a 90 second tank? Uh, maybe the rebreather fills? Is that what's happening here? Not sure. Because when we switched it, we did only get 90 seconds. You can plant them. Ooh. Do I have a green thumb? <laughs> I have a death thumb. What's up, Alexander? Ooh, take pictures for posters. That's actually a good idea. Jan, thanks for the super chat as well. They call this a quarter nalum. <laughs> Adjusted for freedom units. Thanks for streaming. Jan, you're funny, dude. Jan. Very funny. Swap tanks at 30 second 02 for full tank. 
Uh, oh, okay. So like it takes it, it takes into account the reserves. I need to take a picture of this. We'll put our we'll put our truck in the photo too. Like, hey, yeah, we were here. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. We finally found... We finally found it. Now we still need... We need, like, kyanite. We need nickel. We need all that other stuff. But Very nice. Okay, let's continue. Trying to find aliens. Such a tourist. I mean... Wouldn't you? I would take a legit selfie here. Like a like a hardcore, full-blown tourist. Oh, there's also a quartz thing to mine. I really need to find the add-on that brings the prawn with me. Like, where do I find that? Oh my god, so many missed opportunities. Look, there's all this quartz here. Okay, I actually... This might be a little bit... This is a little sketch. No? Not gonna make that? Can't, like, awesome. suck in the sides for us? Let me just cruise down. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, we can do this. Ooh. Oh, never mind. But, ooh, urinites. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Ground sampler. New technology acquired. Oh, there's that ion battery. We were looking for that uh, recently with the headlamp. Uh, the alien artifact appears to be a programmable robot that collects and analyzes samples of soil and rock. Scans indicate the presence of equipment closely analogous to human-built lasers in the spectrograph analysis equipment. No surprise by the aliens, we have a whole bunch of these more uh, valuable... Oh, see, there's a diamond mining thing there. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay. Time to motor. Guys, why haven't I been double tanking this whole time? It gives you such an extra, like, so much less stress. You guys, what? Deadput. Thanks for the super chat, man. Since Nalem gave theirs, here's my mandatory moderator fee. I'm not a niche, but I too have advice for you. To win the game, complete all objectives. <laughs> Warning. Thanks, man. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Where's my truck? You guys, you don't have to do that, honestly. Kirsten, holy. Thank you. All the mods here chipping in. I got you 10 cool ones. You guys. Insane. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't know. Thanks, guys. Okay, this can all go in here. Uh, these Preston Delights... I don't know if they're gonna work if they're expired. Uh, we'll see. No fun. Carrying an extra tank slows your swim speed? Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. 
Fallen Knight, thanks for the super chat. Been watching since SCOM 2, and this is absolutely deserved. Thanks for all the great moments. You got what is today? Is are do is there like an anniversary or something I don't know about? Like, wow. You guys are just going nuts. Thank you. I don't even know what to say. I sound like a broken record. People watching the VOD are probably like, oh my god, you just, just like play the game. I'm just like over here just being super grateful. <laughs> so thank you guys. Build a fridge for the perishables? Yes, that's a good idea, but... Like, hey, here's the thing. Let's say I build a fridge inside, right? I stack it full of perishable goods. I go in and get the perishable goods. By the time I get to where I need to go, some of them are not going to be good anymore, right? Unless I can build a fridge on here, which would be cool. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. Communications systems. You can build it in the sea truck? For real? I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I that never even crossed my mind that you would be able to build stuff in the sea truck. Wait, what? You sure? I mean, none of these modules will work. I, I bet ya, I bet ya, if anything, if I could do it, it's gotta be in like this sleeper module where I have like a bed and like, otherwise everything's full. You know? You can't build in the sea truck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jan, thanks for the super chat again. Today is Thursday. Olivia, thanks for the membership. Bakuretsu, thanks for the super chat. Don't forget to practice ABG. Always be gathering. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. I live by that. Communications I live by that mantra. ABG. Samuel, thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Today is factually and accurately one day before Friday. Well, actually, uh, that's not necessarily true for everyone. Um, it's entirely possible that people are in Australia, New Zealand, totally living in the future right now. So you're going to have to take that back. You're going to have to take that back. Purple Snurple, joining the hype train. Thanks, man. <gasps> you guys. Honestly, you don't have to, okay? I don't want you to feel like you need to be keeping a hype train or anything. Like, I appreciate you guys just chilling. Thank you, though. That's insane. Okay, I'm getting, like... I'm getting... Okay, that's super far. Where's the other one? Right below me. What the? The chill train. <laughs> Jeez. If I keep following these alien things, am I or am I not going to find these modules that I've been wanting for so long on my truck? I mean, this is clearly not the way. A nightmare for this long ass sea truck. I'm gonna go to this other one because I don't see a clear path down right now. Congratulations, <sighs> Captain Picard with the tip says, just play the game. <laughs> exactly. I'm trying. I am. Look at me playing. I'm driving. I'm looking at the game. I'm building stuff in our base. Primary directive. Investigate and eliminate. Hi. 
I don't even know. I haven't seen Long yet. That's what my wife tells me. What do you think she means by that? Now, I've been down here before. That I know. I have been down here. But I need to go deeper. I'm going to see if I can map her. Jeez, Bakaretsu again. The train must continue. Thanks, man. Thank you, dude. You can disconnect the truck. Yeah. You can. Oh, I can get deeper there. Hold on. My worry is that I'm going to I'm going to accidentally force myself through some tiny a tiny hole with this massive truck train thing I got going on here. And then I'm never I'm not going to be able to get out. See if I was if I didn't know the names of any of these plants, I would think these would be like the spiral clippings, you know? At least a possibility. Anonymous, thank you again. I was feeling left out, just wanted to be on the train. Oh, I wish I knew who you were. Thank you so much. Uh, Echo, thanks for the super chat. I keep hearing about Anish. Can you explain it? Okay, yes, I can. Anish came about uh, when we first started streaming this game. And uh, Anish was like backseating super hard, like nonstop. And, uh, I was t telling, I was, like, telling him in chat, I was like, Anish, just stop! Anish! We get it, Anish. And, uh, eventually we just banned him. But then, like, I kind of started feeling bad. And so, we named the sea truck after him. Or we named the prawn suit after him. Oh, here. Oh, it's still below? What the f Did I just do like a 360? I feel like that was that's fair. I don't know if I can actually get lower from here. Like I'm seeing those those gaps, but like. I wonder if I can't get to where I need to be from in here. It certainly seems like every path we go on, we're just ending up back in this Warning. section. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And Ish has his own stream name coming, the Sea Truck. <laughs> yeah, I did, we didn't we didn't go down. That's what I'm saying. But I don't think I have an actual way to do that. See, this is just going to take me back into that main room. guys. Warning. No 30 fun. seconds of oxygen remaining. I, I think I need to leave this area. I don't think this is the way. I need to find a deeper... I need to find a place that could take me deeper. Can no you fun. take me higher? To a place where blind men see. Can you take me higher. Does anybody know? Does anybody know the song? Oh, 
Oh, wait a sec. Oh, I'm deeper. Oh, I'm deeper, I'm deeper, I'm deeper. I think I might be onto something. Yeah, that's Creed. <laughs> uh, don't judge me, guys, okay? I, I used to love Creed. And then when Mark Tremonti went off and made his... What the f Made his own uh, band, Alter Bridge. That was sick. Alter Bridge was really good. I don't know what happened to the lead singer, though. I feel like he just disappeared off the face of the earth. This is so confusing. Polar Beard. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Says, a friend of mine started a sea truck building company. Unfortunately, it went under. Buttons don't work. Hold on one sec. No fun. Whoa, my computer's doing something weird. You guys can hear me still? Oh, I hope this doesn't break anything. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you can. That's so weird. <laughs> okay, yeah, my buttons work. That was weird. That was weird. Um, <laughs> Taylor, thanks again. Says you can't tell me what to do. Choo choo. Dead put. Thank you. Says so. I keep hearing about back seating. Can you explain what that means? Back seating is when uh, it's like okay. So like you have no chill, right? You're in the you're in the comment section. You're in chat. You're just like you got no chill. You're just like this idiot isn't playing how I want to play. You just can't let that go. And it's understandable. Some people are afflicted with that condition. It's okay. I'm not judging you for it. I just don't want to see it. And uh, so then these people have like emotional, emotional outbursts. And they get really mad. Some Somebody in the... <laughs> okay, small side tangent here. So um, in... In the me recent Mass Effect stream, remember how we had the, uh, the, um, oh, what did we call it? The massacre at peak 15? Yeah, well, somebody in the comments goes, um, this guy is CQ bragging that he's played the game before, but he just killed everyone. What a loser. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm too old for this shit now. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm over it. So I did my, I did my new tactic. I did my new tactic where I replied, I told him, I made a, I said something about his mom and then I, and then I, and then I banned him. I hid him from the channel. So you might even reply, I'll never see it. But uh, that gives me a little bit of pleasure. Gives me like a little bit of pleasure doing that. Is that bad? I feel like it's petty. It is petty. Like it's a hundred percent petty, but I get something out of it, you know? I just get a little bit of something out of it. Bakaretsu, thanks for the super chat. A neat, hashtag Anish, hashtag 69, hashtag repair the truck. The legend lives on. Jeez. Thank you again, man. Taylor, thanks for the super chat again. If you ever sing Creed like that again, I swear I will break down with tears of joy. They had another song. Um, they had another song. It went a little bit something like this. Check, check. Wait, not in it. Check. 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 Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check. Check, check, check. Check. With arms wide open. <laughs> That's all I know. Sorry, I thought that was going to be better. I thought more of the lyrics would have come to me there, but they just didn't. Okay, am I even am I even on the right track here? This is a 
I've entered the nightmare zone here. Like, it looks like you can go down here. Oh, you can. Maybe. Uh, Mal Reaver, thank you for the donation for Anish. May he rest in peace. Yeah, that, that poor guy. Hey, look, I'm like... I'm deep in this cave. Smashing this truck into walls. But like I'm I'm now I can't even go anywhere else. What is the purpose of this? I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna die down here. Am I on the right track, guys? Like feel free. Uh anish me right now. Hit me with an anish. Tell me if I'm even in the realm of where I should be at here, because holy smokes, this is nightmare fuel. God. Seek fluid intake immediately. I'm in the right spot. Do I need to go down there? Or should I check the other sections here? Let me do a loop. Devil says, so I've been binge watching this on the playlist and now just notice that this episode is live. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. You've now been immortalized in the VOD forever. In 15 years, just when aliens are going to find Earth. Uh... They're gonna watch all these videos, obviously. Why wouldn't they? Part of natural history. And they're gonna see your name. They're gonna be like, Devil Kitty. Okay. We gotta. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is definitely something. Definitely a path. I don't know if we can do anything with this. Probably not. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we're on. The, we're in the money. We're in the money. You have to leave the sea truck to find it. Not if you see my sea truck piloting skills. I can get this thing through the thinnest of crevices. Oh yes. That was a tough one to find. Holy smokes, dude. That was tough. Let's eat one of these salads. Oh, you know what? That's actually... It's not a lot of H2O I'm seeing. And I don't have any other water Vital on board. Signs stabilizing. Let me see if we got any bladder fish in here. There's one. That'll do. Getting out of the cave will be interesting. I'm just going to run it all along the walls until the truck explodes or I get out. It's the only possible option. Like, this is what I want in our bedroom at the base. I want one of these. Oh. Oh, please, God, tell me I could have this. Ancient ornamental plant. Molecular scans point to an incredibly slow cell metabolism, which is backed up by carbon dating. The plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. This process alters the state of cells and transforms into a new cell type over time. 
Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for an incredibly long period of time. The carefully regulated structure of this plant's cellular biology and the intentional nature of its display, among other alien artifacts, suggests that the architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. All those weird aliens. Oh. Oh, hello. Bones. Weird. This skeleton is. Dense synthetic skeletal structure made from unknown alien components. It's estimated that the skeletal material would score a 10 on the Mohs test for material hardness. Is that the max? Is highly resistant to shattering due to incredibly strong impact. Only dense. Able to handle heavy forces. A good friend for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a fallen architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Taylor, thanks for the super chat, says, I wrote an entire blog on why Creed is the soundtrack to the future in space travel. Uh, we're going to need a link on that. We're going to need a link on that. I doubt we can knife these. This thing, this sculpture, kind of looks like the... Um, the remnants that we saw in uh what's that recent ps5 game that we streamed a couple of times returnal kind of looks like those things architect skeleton now that's cool because this is the first actual thing that we can build we need polyaniline which is hydrochloric acid, which is the cotton things, which we have a lot of. Some salt, which we don't have a lot of. I think we got like three. And gold. All right. All right. All right. That was a good find. I got six minutes. Then I have to leave. I have to go mail some things. Okay, that was super cool. Now to try and get out of here. I think we can do it. Oh, Zen Garden photo? You guys want me to take a photo of that? I'll do it. I'll do it. That's a good idea. Good idea. If I can't cut it down and bring it with me. I might as well immortalize it on my bedroom wall. That does mean we're going to have to replace a niche. Let's get a good angle. Get the door entry in there. Get this thing in the bottom left corner. Don't cut off any limbs of the trees. This is it. This is the one. Boom. Tell me if that's not worthy of posting on my wall. Rule of thirds? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Like, this thing kind of goes with that. To break the rules of photography, you gotta, first of all, really understand the rules, okay? You can't just go breaking the rules of thirds without really knowing what you're doing. Just saying. Check for minerals? What do you mean, check for minerals? Uh, what kind of minerals are we talking? Is 
Is there something that I'm missing down here? Uh, try to look for nickel ore. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, even if I even if I had my um, wait, where's my scanner, bro? Oh, it's not even here. <sighs> Do you mean in here or outside? Outside. Okay, that's what I figured. Okay. I'll have to do it manually. Great. Freaking there. Job chat. Way to be team players. I also need, uh, Kyanite. definitely need these, so I will continue clearing this place of nickel ore. Maybe some of these spores. Why not? And we got an extra tank, so we could double tank this bad boy and hit the and hit the, um, the air plants. Oh, dead on it. Inside the plant. That's good. That's good. How many more times is that going to happen? At least once. Oh, do you guys remember me telling you about how, uh, a ram is turning into like an outdoor person. Communications systems array active. Well, yesterday, she's like, what? Yesterday, uh, she's like, I want to go to IKEA to get these um, solar lights to light up our backyard area where we have the the fire pit now. And, uh, <laughs> so we went there, we bought, like, the lights were pretty cheap, but we bought, like, I don't know, six big lights, five medium, and, like, six small. And this morning, we, uh, hung them in the trees in the backyard. And gotta say, they look pretty good. Pretty happy about it, actually. Quantum locker's full of clippings. Let me dump all this. Let me dump these. Uh, I guess that's fine. I can put the locker in there too. So now we're going to have like A, a ram into being like outside even more. And B, we might have some cool lights out there. I'll try to take a picture. I'll try to take a picture uh, tonight. We have a fire after the aspect stream. This guy is just on my butt. Hold on to your butts. Yo, Taylor, thanks again, man. Uh, I posted the link to the Creed blog in the Subnautica Discord. Oh, you're dead serious. and eliminate what what good timing i mean we just dumped everything it could it can't be that bad i come back with full health i don't even think it took anything i kind of feel like i kind of feel like it should punish you more right like i don't even think it i don't if it took anything i don't notice what it took uh but i feel like a death should be m worse than that you know? Am I wrong? Or am I wrong?
My locker is in the truck. I just put... I just literally dumped everything in the truck and then died. Got eaten by this thing. I, I might have first aid in the truck, and I was thinking about trying to get it. What is this? Oh, this might be some stuff it took, actually. Maybe that's it. That would make sense. Ooh. Weird little creatures. Sure, you can come back home with me. We'll put you in our new uh, alien containment area. Very soon. I need to leave here soon. I might be able to kill that thing. We've uh, shown some skill with the uh, thermo knife. All right, we're full. I'm good. Let's let's motor. Wait, why do we have a beacon here? Maybe this is something that happened too. Did I accidentally drop that beacon? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Would a ram go on the back of your bike? Not yet. Uh, not yet. She's not there yet. First step, get a bike. Okay, that's where we were. Let me see if I can navigate out of here. I need, I need to leave here, but let me see if I can get out of this death trap first. Follow these beacons. No, my quantum locker is in the, it's in the truck. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. I want to quell all of your fears. It's right there. Would you feel better if it was on my, my persons? Here. I mean, I should just make more quantum lockers too, shouldn't I? But they share storage, actually. So maybe you, maybe making multiple would be useless, right? That's the whole thing with the quantum lockers. At least the way I understood it at first was if you have multiple, it shares all the contents. I didn't even know about the expandable aspect of it until uh, until chat pointed it out. Yeah, they all hold the same thing, exactly. Which makes sense, right? That's pretty smart that the game figured out that people would try to uh, exploit that by just making a bunch of quantum lockers. Yeah, I'm back in this, like, main area, so this is promising. I might get out of here with, like, not too many problems, surprisingly. Easy! Definitely better going out than going in. Just like certain foods. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. I'm totally out. All right. I'm going to I'm going to stop here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. We're done. I don't know why I felt the need to like announce that so aggressively, but uh when we come back, I say this cuz sometimes I'll go watch the end of the vod and then I'll remind myself of what I was trying to do. Um I need to empty all of my stuff here. Empty it. Gone. Get rid of this. I'll keep my tools, obviously. Um, my locker is full, so I'm going to store it here. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. And uh, when we return, we'll go to the next alien thing. And, and try to find more cool stuff in the area. And then we'll go back to the base, 
whip up a lot of new things, alien containment, uh, finish that building, the glass roof, all that stuff. And um, just rock and roll from there. Okay. Guys, I'm done for today. Athena, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for keeping me company while I work. These streams make the time go faster. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. Uh, when's the next stream? Uh, Mass Effect is at 4, so in like 90 minutes. And then uh, Saturday will be the next stream at uh, 12. At 12 noon. Okay. Thanks for all the support, guys. That was really crazy. That was really crazy. That was super wild. Thank you so much. I have to go mail some stuff now. I have to return uh, a t-shirt. And I have to uh, send a capture card to somebody that bought it on Facebook. And then I need to eat something as well. All right. Thank you so much. Had a super time. Hope you guys had some little morsel of enjoyment. And we'll see you for Mass Effect in 90 minutes. Well, 83 minutes now. Because I've wasted a lot of time.